This is another very exciting indicator that is hot out of the development uh, workshop. Um, is literally on beta test now, and that's the dynamic accumulation and distribution indicator. I'm sure you're all familiar with the, the one of the key planks of technical analysis, which of course is support and resistance. The concept that price action reaches a point where you have well-developed support or well-developed resistance, which then comes into play. We won't go down the route of, of why that happens, but nevertheless, it is a core concept. And it's also a core, core, core concept of the volume price analysis methodology, support and resistance, not only from a price-based perspective, which is what this indicator is about, but also when we look at the VPOC, which is the next one that's coming out from, uh, from our, our software development team, which looks at support and resistance from the perspective of volume, which is equally important. We look at the volume histogram on the right hand of the side of the chart. But with the accumulation distribution indicator, what we're looking at here is support and resistance from a price-based perspective. And the beauty of this indicator and the power of this indicator is that it presents these levels visually for you. In other words, put very simply, the thickness of the line here will tell you whether that region is stronger than another or weaker than another. You can think of it in terms of one of the, um, the analogies I always use, or, or a mental image, if you like, is of um, Popeye and the spinach. If you've ever seen the cartoon, he eats more spinach and his muscles grow bigger. Well, it's exactly the same concept with this particular indicator. And if you've seen it on NinjaTrader, you'll see it, in, you'll see it frequently in the webinars with Anna and myself. You'll also see it on Anna's site where we do a lot of analysis using it. Um, but what it gives you is this wonderful visual picture of strength and weakness. It's intuitive and it's very, very powerful. You don't even have to think. You can see it. it obviously works in all time frames. We're on the CAD yen here. We're on a five-minute time frame. As I say, it works in all time frames. And what happens essentially is this. As a level is tested and holds, it thickens. And the more that, uh, that, that the, the greater that uh, number increases, then the thicker the line becomes. So levels which are very thick are therefore very strong, acting either as resistance or support. And you can see what's going on here literally as I'm recording this video. You can see how strong this level is on the five minute time frame. The, uh, the thickness of the line, and what's also interesting here, we've got another level below it. You may not be able to see it, but just behind there, there is a dashed line also, which tells me there's a cluster of two here. So we've got a very thick one and a less thick one below. This level here is even stronger. Now, if I go into settings, sorry, let's just click on settings there for the indicator. You've actually got two options here in terms of style. You've got the lines, obviously, that's the levels themselves. But if I click on labels, what that tells me is the, the number of times that each of these levels has been tested and held. So this one, for example, the reason is this is thicker than the others and the thickest on indeed this chart, this has been tested six times and has held six times. And that's why it's got the number six there. Equally, this has been tested and held four times, as has the one above it. This one is slightly less strong. It's been tested three times. And obviously, the indicator works within the price action where the focus of price action is. And, and I'll show you in a later video, obviously, you have multiple time frames using this approach because, as I've said many, many times before, and I've said it in one or two of the videos I've just recorded recently, time carries weight. So in terms of resistance here, let's just take those off again so that we can see the price action a little bit more clearly. Let's just go there. Sorry, let's just click on the indicator itself there we no nope. let's just click over here let's, see if I can pick, let's go to the thicker one there there we go right let's take those labels off there we are so we've got a nice clean chart so we can see what's going on and obviously what we're seeing here is we are seeing this price action hit this level it's very strong it's capping off that move at the moment but we've also got below we've got quite a strong platform here in place here as well and deeper still, we've got this very, very thick level, which you know may or may not come into play. But from a trading perspective, 
certainly just looking at one chart in isolation and as I said you know I reinforce it all the time you would look at this using multiple time frames but let's just look at it in isolation because I just wanted to show the concept of this indicator because it's so exciting is that this level here is the one that is really key now now from an intraday scalping perspective clearly what we want to see is we want to see the price action break through there and I haven't got volume on here because this wasn't an, this wasn't a, a lesson on volume price analysis but if we had volume on here it would give us obviously the perspective in terms of volume how much volume is being driven into this particular market at the moment but from a purely price based perspective looking at the indicator in isolation what we're looking for is clearly a breach of this level now if we get a breakthrough there and it's with good volume then it stands to reason that we have a wonderful platform of support we've got all this price action banging up against this level we've got all this wonderful platform that then would be in place if we get a breakthrough get up to here then we know we've got lots of protection below we've got this wonderful platform in place to push the market higher and the next question will be well you know where is this going to go to how far have we got in terms of potential for this particular trade if we were going to take this particular opportunity well we're looking at it from purely from a price perspective in terms of resistance we've got this level here we've got another one here and we've got another one here now another important point about the indicator is this yes it's important to look at it in terms of individual strength and weakness in terms of a single line clearly one like this is very important as indeed the one we're testing at the moment but you can also look at it in terms of clusters because when you get little clusters like this individually they are weaker clearly you can see they are but when they act as a cluster like this then they will have additional strength so it's not just a case of looking at individual lines on the on the particular chart you're looking at but also considering it from the cluster perspective of that particular time frame so when you get two or three together like this you know they will be relatively strong individually they're probably quite weak in fact it's like this one that's beneath this very strong level here you've got another level here so together they will um, gather strength in other words you know two or three together will be much stronger than one on its own so that gives you an introduction to this particular indicator it's very exciting I'm just delighted we've got it available for TradingView because we love it on, on NinjaTrader. It's so popular on NinjaTrader for the, that very reason. I'm sure you can understand why. Because it is such a visual indicator, because it tells you instantly where those levels are. You don't have to look at anything else. And this will build in real time as these levels are tested. If, if this one keeps on you know, pushing away at this level, tries to get through and fails, then that will be you know thickened accordingly and it will get thicker and thicker and of course where you do see them a lot is around the volume point of control where you've got lots of congestion and the great thing about this is also when you see these levels they can be great guiders to or great guidance for for setting your stop losses you know positioning of stop losses if for example you were going to take a trade to the long side here on the assumption this was going to break out you can see it's literally testing it right now as i'm recording this video if uh, you were going to look at this perhaps you're, you know you enjoy trading congestion phases you've been waiting for this to break away looks as though it might break away it's now getting to that point of breakaway at this level then it's just a terrific way also of, of placing stop losses you've got this wonderful uh, level here which is going to act as a defense mechanism for you should the market pull back against you and indeed you've got the same here you'd set your stop loss below and you know you've got to break a great natural protection barrier in terms of any potential retracement uh, when you're moving away from a congestion zone so it's just a very powerful indicator very visual works in all time frames I've just shown you the basics there I just wanted to show you in an individual chart I'll do some more videos on it as we uh, as we develop more more videos for the TradingView platform moving forward so there we are. That's the accumulation distribution distribution indicator. We're absolutely thrilled to have it on TradingView. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this particular video, and uh, be interesting to see whether that does indeed break through or just becomes another failure. And if it becomes another failure, then you know that level there will thicken accordingly. Uh, otherwise, it will become. If we get a decent clearance of it, it will become a very substantial platform of support once we get up to maybe maybe get a little bit further away 52 53 54 once we get you know some distance from here if we get a close up here somewhere on good volume 
then we've got uh, you know a nice barrier in below or nice support platform in below to help development of that particular position. So I hope you've enjoyed this particular video. Thanks very much indeed for watching. More to come as always. See you again soon and bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.